I bought this big box of video games from Facebook Marketplace. I had no idea what was inside it. It just said huge gaming bundle for a hundred quid. So I opened it and I thought, Obviously on first inspection, I thought it was a massive win. I mean, there was just hundreds of games. I didn't expect there to be this many. And I sat down and I tried to go through them all. And it took a long, long while. Believe me, I've got this on like 1000 speed and there was just so much to get through. I was buzzing though. One hour later. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It was becoming a bit of a chore at this point, but I found some exciting stuff and that kind of broke up the monotony of trying to organize all this stuff. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, I did it. So you've got a cat there, you've got Xbox 360 games there, you've got original Xbox games, PS3 games, lots of PS2 games, three or four PS1 games, PSP games, Wii games. So there was about 400 games in total, most of them unboxed. Let me just pause this quickly here before we get into looking at the games to say, I know what you're thinking. Where did these games come from? Isn't this all a bit strange, a bit dodgy? How come this guy has just got a big box of unboxed games and he's selling them cheap on Facebook? I had the same question and we're going to address it at the end of the video. So let's crack on looking at the games and stick around to the end to see my theory on where this box came from. So I'm going to take out the most expensive stuff, the stuff that's worth more than a couple of quid, look at the eBay last sold price and see if we can get our £100 back. I'm starting off with Tocobot Plus that apparently sells for £7.40 last sale on eBay. I've never heard of that game before, but a game I have heard of, Simpsons Hit and Run. Not one copy, not two copy, not three, not four five copies of Simpsons Hit and Run Man. What a belter. So that comes to about 52.45. So already we're like halfway through hitting 100 pound. Now I'm not gonna start listing all the totals up here. You can just see it all total up. But six games down, about 60 quid, good start. Need for Speed apparently still sells for seven quid unboxed on eBay. It's a classic game though, so I mean, what do you expect? I've got big nostalgia when it comes to Need for Speed Underground, sticking some neon under like a Nissan skyline and just absolutely shooting past people on the street. I'm sure so many kids played that when they were little and grew up to be people who lost a license or got many speed tickets. Uh, this one, Death by Degrees, I think it's something to do with a Street Fighter character. Anyway, sells for a tenner. The Godfather, a fiver, that takes us over the £100 mark. So already we're looking good. And this is just the ones I picked out from the whole box. So if I sell these, I can still keep the cheaper ones that aren't really worth that much and, and just play them. This one was interesting, Coliseum Road to Freedom. The American version sells for like 40 quid, but the UK one only a tenner. It's something to do with being like a gladiator and fighting for your freedom. It sounds quite interesting. I really want to play it to be fair. So I might keep that one and not sell it. Pac-Man World 2, 7 dollars someone wants this unboxed, apparently, so it can be 3D Pac-Man and just eat fruit to their heart's content. Fear, uh, I've heard good things, I've actually never played it. Are you like some sort of SWAT team fighting ghosts or like fighting her from the ring? That's what it looks like on the box anyway. Let me know in the comments. Again, another one that I might play and keep. Sonic Generation, 750 for the PS3, 138 now. So we're well over the 100 pound mark. Ratchet and Clank, quest for booty. I mean, aren't we all on a quest for booty? Like, is that not what life's about? Minecraft for the PS3, another classic. However, I don't know why people are still paying 12 pound for this unboxed on the PS3 today. Very bizarre. Speaking of things that are bizarre, this blue box of treasures had so many copies of Wii Sport and people are still buying these for six pound. Who is buying unboxed copies of Wii Sport? Anyway, there was 10 of them, 10 of them. So that is 60 quid added to the total. So I've almost paid off the entire box with unboxed copies of Wii Sports. Who would have thought it? Who is, who is buying these? Honestly, let me know in the comments if you were interested in buying an unboxed copy of Wii Sports. No, honestly, let me know because I'm gonna need to shift them. Speaking of, Wii Party, 15 quid eBay last sold price. These are real last sold prices, by the way. I'm not making this up. Someone somewhere has spent 15 quid on that. Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Wii, another 15 quid. That's fair enough, like I can understand that, but Wii Party and Wii Sports? Why are, you, why are you lot buying these? PSP games, Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions or something? 
I don't know. I've, I've never played Final Fantasy games. I'm sorry. I know it's a big thing. Yu-Gi-Oh though, Tag Force 2, again, £15 unboxed. I need to play that one as well. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'll be excited to give that one a go. And it's actually the last game we've got of any value. So our grand total, £280 and 4 pence. That's a big win! But that number in reality is way off because that's me not even taking postage or packaging or anything like that into account. £280 is potentially what I could make if they all sold at the eBay last sold price. But again, that's going to take me months to do as well. Um, but in theory, I've made my £100 back. So if I sell these ones that are worth something and then I even sell the ones that are only worth a couple of quid, if I sell them as bundles on eBay uh, for, you know, a fiver, whatever, I can make my £100 back. But... I'm not gonna kid you, it's obviously gonna take a long time, it's gonna be a long process. And the elephant in the room, or one of the elephants in the room here, I haven't even tested the games yet. So these games I've got in this box down here, they might not even work. Um, yeah, if they don't work, it's gonna be a bit frustrating. <laughs> But if they work, then I've got a whole treasure chest full of games that I would have never have bought myself that I can now play um, and hopefully sell on and make a little bit of a profit. Now, the real elephant in the room, the real thing that I haven't discussed yet is where these games came from. Now, I know you're going to have a few theories there and you're typing them in the comments already and that's fine. Leave your theories in the comments. Don't call the police. Leave your theories in the comments without calling the police. But I've got a few theories of my own and they might be quite similar to yours. So the first theory where this guy got this big box of unboxed games. So he went up to his local uh, shop and he's went Or theory number two um, is that he just bought this lot legitimately and is just selling it on at such a price because he's quite a nice fella and, you know, never has once been involved in anything criminal or corrupt. That's probably the theory I would go with because I like to think the best in people. So, you know, theory one or theory two, who knows? Both of them seem pretty plausible to me and I'm quite comfortable with either. Please don't call the police. Right, we're gonna put the door in. I'm gonna just assume that you got it in a legitimate way because why would you sell it with your face on it and your address and everything if you didn't get them legitimately? That would be pretty, pretty stupid. Uh, but if you wanna see me play some of these games uh, and you wanna find out a bit more about them, follow me on TikTok because I play games on there quite regularly and do little reviews and stuff as opposed to big videos like this. Um, so I'll go through them all, I'll be testing them, seeing if they work, and you can find out one by one on there. But comment what you want to see tested, the most liked comments, I will test those games and I will play those games, I will make a short, I'll upload it, and if you hit subscribe, you'll see that short as soon as it comes up. But yeah, I guess that's the end of our Facebook Marketplace journey. Stay tuned for more, because I'm always on the hunt to buy big lots like this. Uh, it's not usual that you find one as big as this, or as... Um, interesting as this so if you like the video hit subscribe we're a small channel uh, i'm trying to build it a bit bigger and just give you more kind of retro game content and, and find content like this where i'll go out and waste my money on boxes of not illegal games so that you don't have to uh, that's what i'm here for i'm here to play old <coughs> by old <coughs> so you don't have to do it so hit subscribe hit like if you like the video and leave a comment let me know which one of these games in this big box down here that you want to see me play first i mean i imagine it's probably gonna be spin drive ping pong for the ps2 or it could well be the incredibles for the ps2 or or hotel for dogs for the wii uh, but no seriously watch the video back even hit pause sometimes if you need to and let me know which one i should play and i'll upload the shorts and you'll see me there soon thanks for watching see you next time